Um, so what advice do you give your students, especially when it comes to writing about, you know, our present day climate? Uh, you know, it's interesting because we started off this semester talking about January 6th at the, at the Capitol, mm -hmm. attempted coup. And I think it was, it was an excellent, excellent opportunity to, uh, to raise the issue of documentary poetics. And that it was a reminder to me that this is an echo January 6th was an echo of what happened in 1898 in Wilmington, North Carolina, when there was an actual coup of an entire city government <laughs> that, had, that had been uh, uh, won by the black population of that town. And the white folks were just upset with that. And they decided we can't tolerate this. And they went essentially on a, on a killing spree. And uh, killed a lot of black people and ran a, ran a bunch of them out of town. And, and so when you saw what was happening in January 6th, you were seeing an echo of what happened in Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh, so I do emphasize to them to have an understanding of, you know, by the time, I just say, by the time you, you, know, you leave college, you have to have a basic understanding of what happened when in America. This was when the Civil War happened. This was when the World War One, World War Two, you no, know, et cetera. And when this movement happened, and, that, and what were the consequences thereof? In order to understand what is going on right now, and don't think that the literature of the country is separate from that history. It's it, it's intimately bound to that history and informed by that history and shaped by it. And um, uh, and you have the opportunity to learn from it and write about more than just butterflies and sunsets and rainbows and how your heart got broke. 